Last time I gave out a no popcorn rating was in May to the Chernobyl Diaries. That was a good run, right? Yeah, then, then I saw this movie. Paranormal Activity 4 is a movie that sucks. That's it. That's the plot. It sucks. The little girl, the teenager, that's who she is. She, for some reason, films her whole life because that's what the movie needed. And then there's this creepy kid across the street who his mom mysteriously never met the mom. She just gets taken away by the ambulance. Then he comes to live with them because that makes sense. After that creepy shit starts happening throughout the house, the girl starts noticing it. She tries to tell her parents, but of course they don't listen because, you know, who would listen to their kid? Then things start escalating. I think people know what happens at this point. I'm not gonna say what actually happens at the end, but it just, it's bad. This movie is awful. Now look, the Paranormal Activity franchise and I, we disagree on a lot of things because the first movie I just despised. I went to see it, it was in a packed theater because it had so much hype around it, and I was just sitting there, it's like, this isn't scary, doors are moving, I hear loud noises, that's fine, but I hear things like that, doors don't move in my house, but I hear noises, I don't care. I didn't bother to see the second one just because of how much I hated the first one. Then the third one came out and I was reviewing things on YouTube, so I decided to go see it. That one actually scared me, that one had innovative scares, because remember the uh, fan thing, that was a really creepy thing that they had. The ending was kind of stupid, but as I said in that review, I wanted to see more of this to see if they could actually build on what they did in the third one and you know the trailers I saw them and I was like they're not doing that it's gonna be stupid and look who's right for once I'm actually right this year and this movie it's just atrocious it's just it's so incredibly bad the, the acting in the movie it's all right okay the acting in the movie is passable the girl Catherine Newton who I knew from Gary and Married, she was fine in the movie so was her boyfriend he had some funny moments but everyone else is pretty just downright in Paranormal Activity 1, there were just not that many scares. It, I get that it was a slow burn, and I can completely understand why people were scared by that. It just didn't scare me. So the third one, that one was really scary too, because they had some really cool ways to actually invent scares. And in this movie, it's just jump scares. All of it. It's just jump scares throughout. Jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. That's it. And people were actually jumping and getting scared by this. It's like, wh what is this? This isn't horror. This is just people making loud noises. And for some reason, there's a loud noise every time something happens on screen because that makes sense. Like, legitimately, remember that scene in the trailer with the connect, with the thing moving across behind the kid? They make a loud noise in the movie during that. Then in the replay of it, when they're showing other people, there's no loud noise. So they added sound effects in this movie to make it seem scarier when it's not. This movie is not scary. It is not good. I seriously, I'm, I'm done with these movies. I'm not going to see the one next year unless I actually see something in the trailers that hooks me or gets my attention because this one didn't have any good trailers or didn't get my attention. I just saw it out of the fact that I wanted it to be good and this movie was just fucking terrible. Seriously, I don't know why people still pay to see these movies. It's the same thing over and over again. You get a slow build, you get a couple jump scares, you get a couple real quote-unquote scares, and then the end is just a payoff supposedly where everyone just dies. I'm sorry. That is not a good payoff to me. I want to see them fight the demon for once. I want to see them like, I don't know, pour something on him so you can fight him. Like Nightmare on Elm Street, the series. You have to pull Freddy out of the dream to fight him at the end so you actually get a climax. This movie, the climax is just boom, boom, loud noise, everyone dead. That's, it's so stupid. And I don't get the audience, like I said, I don't get why the audiences pay for this, but people behind me, every single time something remotely creepy happened, it wasn't even creepy, just something moved or nothing even happened, you just hear people behind me going, the fuck is that? It's like, <laughs> why are you, it's not scary, why do you, why are you interested in this? Why are, why am I here? Why, why am I still talking about this? This movie, it's just, it's terrible. I don't, I, I don't understand. This movie gets no pop popcorn as I probably alluded to in the intro. It's just, don't see it. I, I mean, I'm sure fans will see it. I'm sure this movie's gonna make a shitload of money and they'll make another one next year, but I just, I don't see anything that makes me believe that the fifth one will be any better than this one. So that's that. That's, I'm done. I'm so done with these movies. So what'd you guys think of Paranormal Activity 4? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? What's your favorite movie in the franchise? Obviously mine's three. That's the only one I actually liked. Rate me for comments down there and tell me what you think. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button up there. Because if you don't, I'll make Paranormal Activity 5 with Matt starring in it. You happy now?